what is up everyone this is crypto god and today is the 4th of september 2020 and we'll be looking for the coin market cap for the top 10 coins we'll be doing a little bit of uh, bitcoin ta and of course looking at some rather mm, bullish news and if you think that's interesting what i think you should do is like this video and of course subscribe and press the bell notification and let's get it started okay so let's go for the coin market cap bitcoin down uh, 6.6 percent .6 is hovering around 10 4 10 5 Ethereum or free three nine five. Uh, it went all the way to four eighty before coming back down. Uh, let me just close this Telegram group. Sorry about that. And of course, uh, XRP is XRP. Tether is Tether. Polkadot. Wow, it defeated Chainlink. It took the number five position. Then of course we got Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin. Wow, pretty much everything in the market is what or it's in the red by ten percent here and there. Uh, we do have Tron up, that is because they have their, uh, it's something like a Uniswap, but of course on a train, on a Tron, <laughs> on the train platform, I mean the Tron platform. <laughs> and of course Cardano all the way down to number 14. But anyways, let's just look at a Bitcoin TA. Okay, uh, let me just put this on a weekly, because we do some a little bit of macro scale, there you go. Ooh. Delicious. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what can we see through the macro? I mean, because there, there isn't much uh, things. So, uh, what I can say, um, based on my TA, uh, which doesn't really show much anyway, but it's you have to visualize some stuff. This right here, this here, is the support slash resistance. Uh, why is it the support slash resistance? Well, if you look back all the way here, um, back in what twenty seventh of April, twenty twenty. We can see we touched this point so many times, and then we got rejected, and then we broke through it. Then we came all the way down, and of course we wicked to it. Now I'm hoping that we do go up in this. Um, of course, the volume is still. I mean, it depends on how you plot this graph. Volume is still declining. It just depends on if you want to do a wick to wick, it'll be like this. But then, of course, you just want to... It's, it's, the volume still declining. That's all you need to know. <laughs> volume still declining. Uh, we touched the hash room. The hash rooms are right here. There's not really much to say about it. Um, everything's looking good on, on Bitcoin. I mean, I don't see what the problem is with everyone saying, Oh, Bitcoin going to 96, 96. Oh, yeah, sure. Bitcoin might go to 96. Cause that's what the uh to the, cause the 200 moving average is right around 94 so i won't be surprised if we do break this support i mean we could we couldn't but i, I doubt we will i really doubt that i mean even looking at the daily time frame there's not much going on look there isn't much we've been going through this straight this this channel the whole time guys Look, e even the hash ribbons are fine because look, they're going the opposite way. Look, it was about to touch here and then it goes down. It's fine. Everything is fine. Even on the monthly, we're still doing great. Look at it. We're going. We're in an uptrend, everyone. We are in an uptrend. Now, of course, where this uptrend will end, I don't know. We might end at 20k. We might end. At, I don't know. We. I, don't, I really don't know. But of course, we are at 0 0.25. Uh, level and of course that's the fun you know that's exactly where we touched let me see if I can just zoom in that's, a, that's exactly where we touch on, on, on the retracement tool which is quite funny I mean I, it's, it's understandable but hey we still need to break the uh, 12 8 8 1 level so it should be over somewhere around it but every time it goes higher and higher and higher anyways that being said um, not much TA on about Bitcoin I mean I don't want to say hey like this is what's gonna happen there's only one way of this being looked at you can look at it a million ways but at the end of the day only one of these ways will actually work out for you guys so it's, it's not it's not even that important to be even like this like hey 
this happens and this happens and this happens like there's only one way to actually look at the stuff and right now we're still in an uptrend and that doesn't really matter we're just touching the line of resistance or support that's that in uh, this case it became the support anyways let's look at some news a uh, bitcoin price is ready to break ten thousand dollars here's why uh, I'm not going to read this out for you guys, but I'm just going to link this in the description. The only one that I will be reading is, of course, this one here. Bank of England is for stablecoin and CBDC, but says Bitcoin has no connection at all to money. And I'm going to link this in the description, but of course I'm going to read out with the most important bit. What they said in the... Um, seminar or, or these uh, live conferences uh, from home they have no connection at all to money they may have a, a intrinsic value you may like to collect them for instance and such they are highly risky investment opportunity their value can fluctuate quite wildly unsurprisingly they strike me as an unsuited to the world of payments so where certainty of value matters Hey, let me tell you something. We don't trade in gold, but we still keep it. it. Makes no difference. I mean, I'm pretty sure these guys also have Bitcoin, but of course, I understand where they come from. We can't really use Bitcoin as a payment method. You could, you could, but because it's how much it fluctuates, it needs to stabilize first, and it will. At some point in life, Bitcoin will stabilize. And this is what these people do not understand. It, it may stabilize at 100,000, it may stabilize at 1 million, you never, you don't know. And then it might just fluctuate like between up and down, just maybe by a percentage or so. Who knows? But hey, it's good to see that the Bank of England does say it does hold, or well, it may hold an intrinsic value. I mean, as long as they understand what's going on. And of course, the last bullish news is, of course, Brazil could deploy CBDC by 2022, say central bank. I mean, I think I read this and it said 2023. But uh, hey, let's go straight into the important bit. To have a digital currency, you need an, an instant payment system that is efficient and interoperable. An open system where you can create competition and a currency that has credibility. Is convertible and international. After that, I think you will have all the ingredients ingredients to have a digital currency. Well, that's about it. Uh, good to know that Brazil won't be uh, will be, of course, making their own digital currency, um, which is great, great, great. And of course, that's about it for guys for today. And of course.